Okay, in this demonstration, I'm going to be showing you kids how to make on shape block number 11. Uh, and if we take a look at the shape here in the picture, every one of these squares represents one quarter of an inch. So if we count the number of squares that this object is long in the front, it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if it's 11 squares, we have to figure out what that's going to be in inches. So if every four squares equals an inch, this shape should be 2.75 inches or two and three quarters of an inch long. And as we can see here, it's going to be one, two, three, four blocks wide, which is equal to one inch. Okay. And it's also one, two, three, four, five, six blocks tall, which will equal an inch and a half. Okay. So with that said, I'm going to want to sketch the left portion of this object first. And I'm going to do that um, by making a, a square that is one inch by one inch, and I'm going to raise it up an inch and a half. So I'm going to do that first. So as I go over to on shape, I'm going to create a new sketch in the top view. And then I'm going to come over here to my camera angle and change it to the top. Now I'm going to use my rectangle tool here, and I'm going to create a rectangle or a square here that is one inch. Enter one enter and that gives me a one inch by one inch square now i'm going to change my camera angle to isometric so that i can extrude this surface up at a distance of we said it was six squares so that's 1.5 inches Hit enter and select the green check mark so what i've done now is i've created this left portion of the shape which you can see here needs some work. It's going to need an arc that goes around the top and it needs a hole. So if each square here is a quarter of an inch, the diameter of this hole would equal a half of an inch. Okay. So let's go over here and I'm going to start a new sketch on this surface right here. Okay. Which is the front. And I'm going to look straight on to the front now. Okay. Now there's a couple of little tricks in on shape that help you locate the center of lines and center of circles and things like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a line and I'm going to hover along this top edge. And you'll notice that a little square shows up whenever I reach the midpoint of that line. So I'm going to start a line right here and I'm going to go straight down at a distance of one, two squares, which is one half inch. So I'm going to type in 0.5, enter. I'm going to use the escape key to get off my tools. And I'm just going to get rid of that line with my snip tool. Okay, so the bottom of this line is now the center point of my circle. So I'm going to take my circle, start here at the end point of that line, click once to start, click a second time to end, and immediately type in the diameter of 0.5 inches, enter. Okay, so there is my circle that will become the hole in that left portion of the shape. Next thing I want to do is create my arc. So I'm going to use a three-point arc, okay? Now here's uh, another little trick. If I hover on the end point of this line and then I travel over to the left, a little dashed line would show up there next to it. And that tells me that I'm perfectly lined up with that center point. So my first click of my arc is going to be right here along that line. The second click is going to be exactly the same on the right side. And my third click is going to be right here with the top center. And there's my arc. So I also need to get rid of this line here. So I'm going to use my scissor trim tool to snip away the excess parts that I do not need. Okay, now I'm going to look at this shape in isometric again. Okay, uh, I'm going to use the escape key to get off any tools. And I'm going to hit the green check mark. And I'm going to select this corner, this corner, and the center of the hole. Now I want to extrude that 
I do not want to add, but I want to remove from it, just like so. Hit the green check mark, and now I have created that left side of the shape. Okay, so if we look back at the shape, I've just created this left portion, and I need to continue on with this right side portion with the slot in there. So if I count the number of squares, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that would equal 1.75 inches. And this is two blocks tall and four wide. So I'm going to start by making a sketch on this surface. I'm going to use my rectangle tool to start a rectangle from this bottom corner in this direction. And I'm going to make that one inch by 0.5 inches. Okay. Now I want to extrude that surface at a distance of one. 0.75. Okay, hit the green check mark. Okay, now in order to get the radius that I need on the front edge of this, I'm going to use a different method this time. I'm going to use the fillet tool. So here's how the fillet tool is going to work. It's very easy to use. It's located right here in the toolbar, fillet, okay, and then it's already set for a radius of 0.5, which is exactly what I need. It's 0.5 because from the distance from the uh, arc here, the center of the arc, it's two squares to the end, which is equal to 0.5. So at 0.5, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select this edge right here. It automatically creates a half inch radius curve. So there is this method. Hit the green check mark. Okay, so I'm, I'm halfway there on this portion of the shape. Okay, I'm going to go back to my isometric view to straighten things out. The next thing I want to do is start another sketch right on the top surface here. Okay, so let's look at the shape. What I need to do is I need to create two circles. The first one is a half inch away from the end, and it's a half inch in diameter. So let's do that first. Take my circle tool. This line that's right here was a half of an inch away from the end. And as you can see, if I hover right there, there's a little square that shows up. That tells me that I'm perfectly lined up with the center of the arc. And now that that little square shows up there, that tells me where I'm lined up with the side. So I'm going to make a circle, and I'm going to make it 0.5 inches in diameter. Right, now I need to know where the location of the other circle is. So if I look at the center of this circle compared to the center of the other circle, it is one, two, three squares, which is equal to 0.75 inches. So I'm going to make a line, and I'll delete this line later because it's just for reference of measurement. From the center of this circle, straight back, at 0.75 inches, okay? So this end point of the line compared to the end point of the line here is the center to center of the circles. So I'm gonna make a new circle from this end point at 0.5 inches in diameter, okay? So now I have two circles, okay? And what I wanna do is I wanna take a line tool and I want to make a line from this tangent all the way to this tangent. Okay? And my next line tool is going to be from this tangent to this tangent. Okay. Now, I can simply take my, my trim tool, the scissors up here, and I can snip away all the little parts that I do not need, such as those lines, the inside of this arc and the inside of this one. So now I have this outline of the slot. I'm going to click the green check mark, select the space in the center, and I want to extrude that down by removing, not adding, and hit the green check mark. So now that slot goes straight through the object, and this shape equals the one in the drawing. Good job, good luck, and I'll see you on the next one.